Alrighty, guys. Huge news, by the way. Um, don't know if you guys can see the Discord, but I hope you guys can. Let's see. Maybe let's zoom in a little bit. That should be a little bit better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But new sunken armor and server list selector thingy. You know, like you know how Roblox has like the server, and you can go to whatever server you want and you join in, like whatever. Okay, no, let me not make it too complicated for myself to talk about, right? But anyway, server list is being added. That's great, but that's not the most important part. See, as players, we we want the sunken items, which new sunken item is gonna be added, and weapons will be added tomorrow. Oh shit. Um, I guess since I'm making this video on the day, we won't know what weapon it is. I guess I'll just update in the comments or something, like whenever it comes out. But, besides that, right? Sunken items can also be obtained from underwater chests. You know, same as the fishing rig too, which I feel like that's way too good because, look, fishing is way more slower than ch chest hunting, right? I know you do have to look for the structures, but... Like the big structure, you can get like 30 chests, right? So... 30 chests is like what? 1 in 300, right? Like every structure basically has 1 in 300 of getting like a sunken. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but compared to 1 in 3000, that's really... That's a lot, right? Opening 3,000 chests just to get one sunken item, oof. But they did say it could be affected by luck potion, right? Which means if you open 30 chests in one structure with like the best luck potion, you're basically gonna get it, like... Maybe, maybe. It will increase by a lot, because I forgot like what's the multiplier for luck potions. But luck potion will definitely boost your chance by a lot mainly because you can open a lot of chests at the same time and you can't do that with fishing right which is why luck potion i feel like doesn't affect fishing much wow but yeah that's crazy i mean besides that server list will be available quality of life changes you know hop around all the servers you want you know then again you could already do that like hopping server right you just block someone and then you move into a different server right it will put you in a different server the next time so you could technically do that but now that you can select the lowest amount of player i guess we could like it's much better for me personally because when we do streams right if we want if the if everyone wants to play together we want to go to a server with lower players that's great so that's pretty good i mean and then besides that oh like Dad mentioned that Sunken Armor, or the new one, is attack speed one. Which, I don't get it. Why? Like, attack speed makes no sense. We already have the Cernix Armor. Like, why? Why not, like, defense and agility, right? We don't have that. We have defense intensity, defense magic size, defense attack speed already. Why do we want a second one? Like, it will make the Cernix set useless, right? Or, not useless, but... You know, you just don't want the Cernix army, right? Why? Like, like there's a better one already. Why would you do that, right? This, you know, I feel like this restricts the builds. Kind of, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like that's good for like trying to like make the more builds, more better builds. If that makes any sense. Anyways, I feel like Cernix armor will definitely just like nah. Nobody will want to use it unless well, you know, you're going with a budget build, right? And, you know, Sunken Armor is... <sighs> Man. I, I just don't like the fact that, like, how strong you are is based on RNG, right? We're already doing that, but... Sunken Armor, I feel like that should be, like, an optional thing. Like, the Sunken Sword isn't that good. The Sunken Armor is fine. Like, you got replacement. You could technically use King's Armor and give it, like, Heart Enchant or something. Armor enchant, right? If you want more defense or jewelries, right? That's great. But, <sighs> ooh, you know, I just feel bad for the Cernix armor that I probably won't use it once I get like the new sunken armor or something. 
but the more important one would be the weapons, right? So it could be really anything. I'm hoping for the katana or you know anything that allows you to dash, right? I'm okay with great sword too because I like the long range move. Forgot what it's called. It's called tempest, I think. Um, yeah, and then like kata uh, katana move that makes you dash. Every conjurer uses that. Oh my lord! If that like if that weapon katana is in the game, oh, it's gonna change everything. That sunken weapon, just because like it's way better than the sunken sword since. I literally see no conjurer use it. Every conjurer that I seen, n no one uses sunken sword, which is eh okay. Yeah, I mean it, it's rare, but like come on, it has to be like pretty decent, right? But it's not. So I mean, I can't say it's popular. <laughs> I mean, actually, then again, I don't, I don't know. I can't really compare it. But anyways, uh, forget what I was talking about, guys. I'm sure Sunken Sword will be better coping, you know, when the unique move comes out or something. <laughs> oh man, I wish Sunken Sword, Sunken Armor would actually look normal, right? Since all the Sunken is just retextured version, the armor, right? Retextured version of Iron Armor. Please do not let the new Sunken be retextured Iron Armor. Oh my goodness. Like, I know the weapon model is definitely, it has to, it has to be different. And it has to be unique for the new weapon, but the armor, ooh, it's looking a little scuffed. Alright guys, I think I've been stalling a bit, maybe you don't want to hear me rant about whatever's coming on, but... Hey yo, purple sunken set, you know, because attack speed is kind of purple, um, I'm waiting for it. Purple iron armor, let's go, I'm ready, come at me.